Hey everyone, this is Homeschool Arcade, helping educators thrive. Now, in one of our last videos, we talked about flowers. Well, next, we're gonna talk about what some flowers develop into, which is fruit. So, let's get into it. So we've talked about flowers and how they are the, repro the reproductive organ of some plants. So what happens after a flower is successfully pollinated? Well, first, the parts of the flower that are no longer needed, such as the petals, they begin to wither and fall off. Then the ovary or the large bottom portion of the pistil starts to enlarge and form a fruit. Now, as a fruit grows and matures, the seeds develop within it. Now, a fruit consists of two main parts, which are the seeds and the ovary wall. Now, when I say fruit, the first thing that might come to mind is an apple, peach, blueberry, or my favorite, strawberry. You know, big, juicy, fleshy fruits. But there are actually other types of fruit as well. Some plants create dry fruit. And these, this includes things such as nuts, like walnuts and acorns, as well as capsule fruits, like those found in poppies and even the helicopters in maples, which are scientifically known as samaras. Now, another way fruit can be classified is by whether they are simple, aggregate, or multiple. Now, in single fruits, a single flower ovary produces a single fruit. So this would include things like a peach, a tomato, or an apple. And aggregate fruits are those that produce by flowers that have multiple pistils and multiple ovaries. And each ovary is fertilized independently. And this includes fruits like raspberries and strawberries. Now each seed in these fruits are actually surrounded by their own tiny fruit. These small fruits are often called achenes or drupalets. Now, the last classification is multiple fruit. In multiple fruits, there are many small single flowers close together, and each of these flowers have one ovary. And this includes plants such as corn and sunflowers. So each kernel of the corn actually comes from its own flower. Now, let's check out this week's FYI. FYI for your information. What is the world's smelliest fruit? One of the top competitors is the durian fruit. Some people say it smells like rotten onions, smelly socks, or even raw sewage. That's just plain gross. There are also some interesting specialized names used to even further classify fruits, if it wasn't confusing enough already. So let's go over a few of those. A pome is a fruit consisting of a fleshly enlarged fruit and a tough center core containing the seeds. So like an apple or a pear. A droop is a fleshy fruit with thin skin and a central stone containing the seed like a plum, almond, cherry, or an olive. Now this one may seem common, but in botany, a berry is a fleshy fruit without a pit produced from a single flower containing one ovary. So berries include things like grapes, tomatoes, as well as cucumbers and eggplants and bananas. Yes, you heard that right. Bananas are botanically considered to be berries. However, some fruit that we consider or even call berries are not actually scientifically berries. This includes fruits such as strawberries and raspberries. Next, a Hesperidium is a fruit with sectioned pulp inside a separable rind. Now this is like an orange or a grapefruit. So some fruits are really tasty for us and for animals, but what purpose do they serve for the plant itself? Well, one of the main purposes of a fruit is to spread the seeds. And different fruits have different ways of spreading seeds. Juicy, tasty fruits or nuts often spread their seeds through animals that eat them or take the seeds to different places. But samara fruits on maple trees spin around like helicopters to hopefully find a suitable place to sprout. Now, some milkweed pods pop up and hair-like structures carry the seeds through the wind. Now, plants that live in or around the water often use the water to disperse their fruits or seeds. 
And there's even a tree called a sandbox tree that has capsules which literally explode, sending seeds shooting up to 100 meters. Now, that's a dangerous fruit. So, now you know more about fruits and how important they are to plants. So please don't forget to click like and subscribe to make sure you don't miss any of our videos or content. And please, share the knowledge. You all have a good one.